Bastard, the manga about Patrick Bateman, the director was a Wattpad writer. Wait, wrong one. Okay, okay. So the story follows the life of Jin Seon. This guy has it tough. His right arm's joints had to be bolted off. One of the valves in his heart had to be replaced with an artificial one. And also, he has a glass eye because his left one is gone. That in an tandem with this scrawny appearance makes him the prime target of some bullying. That's not even the worst of his troubles because he has something even more fearful. A father. Wait, why did it go black? That's not a bad thing? Oh wait, it says here to continue. On the surface, Jin's father, Dong Su Seon, looks like a successful businessman and loving parent. But that's just a mask. Cause bro is a serial killer. And here's the kicker. Jin is forced to be an accomplice to the man's crimes. And they've been doing that for a couple of years with no one batting an eye. And you find all of that out just in 10 chapters. This right here is a good hook. It's a solid premise that makes you want to read some more. I read this blindly and I was shocked by it. I just wanted to know what happened next. And what happens next is that Jin falls in love with Kyun Yun, who has a life that is the complete opposite to Jin's. Poor and more social. Her mother isn't there and her dad died due to illness. She also has to take care of her grandfather with the mind of a toddler. Despite all of this, she puts on a smile and stays positive. She helps Jin turn his life around and his dad wants to kill her. This is the big plot point that turns the whole thing into a cat and mouse chase of Jin and his father trying to fool each other's plot. This is basically what the story focuses on for most of the chapters. So let's talk about what I like, starting with the characters. The characters here are really phenomenal. I've already talked about three of them, so let's take uh, Manikim as an example. He is at the top of the food chain of the school, a bully that everyone knows, an heir to a multinational company. So you think that he would be kind of like a second antagonist for Jen. Well, he is at first, but he takes a secret liking to Jin, and even becomes his friend. He's one of the best characters because he somehow is likable, and I like that he subverts the bully trope. That's about how all the characters are. Bastard mixes genres very well. It's not just a horror story, it's a mystery story and a romance story. There's a bunch of psychological stuff thrown in because this isn't normal. Dong Su is a messed up man who likes girls so much he wants to kill them and likes keeping his reputation squeaky clean. But it's not just about him, Jin is also messed up because of his upbringing. Imagine your parent or guardian started killing people randomly, and you found out. They have a lot of control of you already, but you take out the police option because they have a great reputation and job, then you're kind of stuck. You either run, die, or hate them. And then you get to see why Dong Su is such a dangerous man, and the effects this has on Jin. Keep in mind, he's engaged in this behavior since childhood, so he's sheltered and lacks common knowledge, and he has other parts of him inside his head that talk to him and make him go insane. The pacing of this is just right. It's short, sweet, and doesn't overstay its welcome. Now you could argue it could have gone on longer. But I think it's just fine as it grabs your attention and it's fast paced and there's many plots along the way. The art style here is immaculate. The author Carnby Kim has a few other works I've read and the illustrator whose name I'm putting on screen because I don't want to butcher the pronunciation just has a distinct style. There's this dark atmosphere at play at all times. It's like a certain uneasiness or anxiety of what could possibly go wrong next. 
I'm not like an Argu or anything, but there's gotta be a name for this shadowy border thing I like when something ominous is lurking. There's a bunch of grays, browns, and blacks in his art that create a gritty, unsettling atmosphere. It's also fully colored and a simplistic feel. I would not want to be in these worlds, but I can't say the art doesn't bring me some comfort. So as for my criticisms, luckily I only have two, those being practicality and the romance. Now practicality just depends on what country you live in and what the law is like there, but there could be some scenes in which you know, you could argue Dong Su could have been caught or whether or not there are plot holes to it. Like the first victim, you see the police don't go to where the victim was last at, but it could just be about the corruption in the justice system. I think this could honestly be overlooked as Dong Su is a terrific but terrifying villain. And lastly, the romance can feel a bit superficial at times. Now this is just bias as I don't take interest in uh, romance stories that often. This one is a little bit better though, but the other aspects of the story just shine brighter. The ending basically involves Jin forgiving his father after finding out his mother and Kyun aren't dead. He basically goes on to rescue Kyun as his father heads up to the rooftop and is conversing with a version of his wife in his head about his life and about Jin. And then he jumps off. And Jin turns himself in and then goes to Juvie. Then the time skip happens and we see Kyun as an adult writing a letter to Jin. Ends off with some nice shots with an older Jin and his mother. I can definitely see this ending as a topic of debate, if it ruins the story or if it breaks apart Dong Su's entire character, but in my opinion, this is a good ending, and I hope Jin gets the therapy he so needs. So if you have read Bastard, let me know what you thought of it, or if you're planning on reading it, just let me know down in the comments. And as for the ranking for Bastard, I'd give it a high A tier. Bye!